Year one, and welcome to our final day on multiplication. Today, we're going to have a bit of an investigation to see all the different ways we can represent arrays using number sentences. But before we do that, we've got our weekly arithmetic test. And as with other weeks, I'm going to go through the answers afterwards, but you have a, your best go. So when you're ready, I'm going to put it up on the board and you have a go for five to ten minutes. So here you are. This is this week's arithmetic test. When you're ready, we'll go through the answers. And don't forget, you can use for any maths equipment that you find useful to do these. Number beads, number lines, fingers, number squares, rulers, whatever you find useful. OK, so welcome back. Here we go. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 9 minus something equals 8. Well, that something's 1. Something take away 2 equals 10, so that's going to be 12. 6 plus 6 is doubling like we've been practicing, so that's 12. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 plus 8, another double, is 16. 14 plus 7 is 21. Something minus 2 equals 8 is 10 minus 2. And then 20 minus 12 is also 8. 14 minus something equals 0. Well, you know that when you subtract something from itself, you get 0, so it's got to be 14. 16 minus 4 equals 12. And 12 plus 8, another number bond to 20, makes 20. 19 plus 4, you start at 19 and count on, so that's 23. 20 minus 16, doesn't matter which way it's written, that's going to be 4. 15 plus 0, add nothing to the number, it stays the same, 15. And then what do we add to 7 to get to 12? 5. We're aiming at getting from 4 to 20, so we add 16. 24 equals something, take away 0. If you take nothing away, it's got to be the same number, so it's 24. Then we've got, what do we add to 13 to get to 22? That's 9. And the last one is 25 minus 0, which makes 25. I bet you did brilliant. OK, so how could we represent these three number sentences using counters. Have a go. You can draw them or you can count them out. And then I want you to think about what this tells us about these three different number sentences. Okay, when you're ready, here we go. So we've got one plus one plus one. Now we're going to have three sets of one. So that's one set, that's two sets. That's three sets. And then we've got this, which is three of three ones, is what we're saying here. It's a new expression. It's actually the multiplication. So we've got three, one, two, three, sets of one. It's exactly the same as the sets of. So what can you tell me about looking at these arrays? Are these different answers, or are they all ways of making the same answer? Brilliant. They're all the same. OK. So this time... Your challenge is to work out which of these number sentences is different to the other two. And again, if you draw them or use counters, that's the best way to do it. I'm going to show you how I draw them this time. So pause the video and when you're ready. So we've got two times two. So that's saying two sets of two. Two, two. Then we've got double two. Well, dub one set, that's a two, and we double it by adding it again. Then this last one is two plus two plus two plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. I'm sticking it there because it really doesn't matter. Right, which pair are the same? I think you'll find that these are the same, and this is different. And that is essentially your task today. Not finding differences, but finding sets that match. So I'm going to show you both the options. So... What you need to do is write these out on separate pieces of paper, turn them over and pull one up. And then you can use, well, we're going to use multi-linking class because we can put them together to create our arrays, but you could use anything that's just to make arrays. And then you could think of alternative number sentences if you want to do the more challenging one. So that's the more challenging one. I'll come back to it in a moment. And this is the simpler one, which I'm just going to show you what we would do. So if we were to choose 4 times 3, if we 
cut it out, turned it up and found it four times three, we would draw four sets of three. Now we can do it either this way, so I've gone over a bit, that would be easier on your sheet, easier if you do a big full sheet. And we've got four sets of three. So we show them one set of three, two sets of three, three sets of three, four sets of three. And that's all you would need to do. You could have alternatively done it round the other way. But as long as you're showing the sets, that is what we call the array. And you don't really need to even draw around them. OK. So that's what you're aiming to do with this one. So this is the simpler one. I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And if you want the more challenging one, you'd be doing the same. So you've got the four plus four times three. You've got, I'm going to do dots this time because it takes up less space. And if you were to think of another alternate number sentence, we could have three plus three plus three plus three. OK. And that pretty much is today's task. And that should really help you get your idea around the different links between different ways of writing multiplication sentences. OK, I hope you enjoy that. And that is the end of this week's learning.